are going to Cape Coast. We are going to try to go to two places, but I wanted to bring you along with me to share um, my journey um, with you all. We are first going to go visit uh, an old, old friend and sister, and then we are going to head over to the Cape Coast Castle. Um, so yeah, come along. Now, say hi to Mrs. Walker. Hi. <laughs> and over here, my old-time favorite. I requested this. This is spinach stew or contemporary stew. Ooh, and then there is salad here. This is the authentic Ghana salad. Let me show you. It has baked beans. Let me focus it properly for you guys. So here we have Banku. <laughs> we have Banku, we have salad, we have contemporary stew, which is spinach stew in the US. We have kinky, we have chicken, we have fish. We have hey, we have the banku and okro, and then we have the jello rice. Wow, guys, it's a it's a come dine with us. So we're here at the Cape Coast Castle. This is where um, the slaves were. It was one of the slave ports. So we're here and um, we have a tour guide that's gonna show you, show us around. So I forgot to mention that I was born and raised here till I was about nine years old. And so this is home for me. Um, I think I started coming here. I have a picture of myself and my cousin when we came here. I think I was about six years old. I've been coming here ever since and it's very enlightening, eye-opening for me. And so I wanted to share with you all. Um, I first wanna show you the beach. The beach is so beautiful. So come with me, let me show you. Bye. 
going to be your guide. So if you have any question, comment, contribution, just let me know. Okay. Um, the tour should take us about an hour before we complete the whole session. <coughs> you see the male dungeon first. Talk about the graves. Get to see a condemned cell upstairs. Happens to be rooms that the Europeans were using. And the last place would be the door, the gate of no return. But then I must say, the history in here is very traumatic and emotional. But then the most important aspect is the lesson that we do take from this place. We stand inside Cape Coast Slave Dungeons, and as we say, Cape Coast Castle. It happens to be the third and the smallest castle that was built by the Europeans when they came to our shores. The coast of West Africa, over 60 14 castles were built in here. And in Ghana alone had over 40 of them, all because of gold. That is why this area had the name Gold Coast. Mm. Nigeria, Benin, Niger, a portion of Togo had the name Slave Coast because that was where most of the West Africans actually were captured from. So Ivory Coast and others probably should tell you they had their names based on what they were getting from their land. Majority of them coming from Nigeria, Benin, Niger, having their forts and castles, most of them here means they had to walk from those areas down to this point. And just imagine yourself today walking from Accra or from Kumasi to Cape Coast Castle. Wow. But this time around they were walking as far as Benin. Brazil. So Brazil happens to be the last place that trade ended. So taking the dates, they passed the first law 1807 to the day they ended the system in 1880. It took them 81 years before they could even abolish the trade. Saying that means this thing was not part of the dungeon system. Because if they had an entrance here, this would have been there to ground them. But before this land was given to the Europeans for their trade, the natives were coming in here to worship a shrine they called Natabi, which happens to be the stone. But then giving their land out means you can't come in here to worship. And for that, they had to take samples of the stone into the township. The castle we see here was officially handed to Ghana in the year 1960, when Ghana became a Republican country. And in 1973, a year before the castle was opened to the general public, they brought them back. So today, those that still have their belief in such systems still come into worship. That is why we see things they use for their prayers in terms of libation. Chairs they sit on when they are in for consultation prayers as well. I'm sure we have some Ghanaians here. And uh, you can write. And you've heard of um, Abosu Medioson Stone, or 77 deities of Cape Coast. So, out of the 77 deities, the stone we see happens to be their leader as well. Oh. Yes, and. Uh, the stone of me. Yes, the stone one, two. Oh, okay. That's what they mentioned. Alright, so <clears throat> over there we can see some wreath and flowers. And these wreath flowers were brought in by investors like yourself. I uh, mean, when you die in the castle. father of At the age of 11, Pedro had a scholarship from the church, all because his father of Rupon Kuju was one of the middle men that were actually buying captives from slave markets and bringing them here. So due to his activities, he got a scholarship from the son. Pedro got to England and over there got baptized into the Anglican conflict, and that was where they came with the name Philip. And his original name Pedro also got anglicized to Quack and he became Philip Quack. Age 24, Philip became the first African to be ordained as an Anglican priest. The following year, he was back in the castle. So right up there in the church, Philip led an all-white congregation, whilst others were also staying in it. Well, Philip actually served this castle for 52 years. Personally, I know nothing that he did for or against the tree. Was one.
together. We stand right in front of a condemned sinner. I made mention a lot of the Africans in here were captured through tribal wars. And for that, it is to say most of them were warriors from their tribes. They bring you into the castle, bring them out, and some of them will be working, others also will carry heavy staffs in here. They team up to escape, others also will want to fight officers, and doing that we're seen to be planning. For that, we're not going to be beaten, uh, they're not going to be killed with a gun in here, rather, they beat you out there before they push you into the condemned cell. The cell actually had three doors, and once they block the three doors behind you, no food, no water, no air, and no light. You get dehydrated, suffocate, and then you die in there. But then the sad aspect is that, let's say today we are all males that were sent in. The soldier assigned here is to make sure that all of them in there are dead before the bodies come out. Oh so if you're that strong to withstand the condition for a day or two, it means you're going to endure the stench of others for the same day. Once they get to see that um, they are all dead, that is when the bodies are brought outside, laid on the floor. They bring out the males, mostly those that were in the first chamber, because I said they were those they sought to be aggressive, to see what has happened to them. So the next time, if you also want to repeat the same thing, remembering what you saw on the floor mm -hmm. to deter you from trying to escape from this place. That is why some do call this place as the room of no return. this hole here, another one over there, so that when the captives are coming, the soldier can stand here to get to see if they are coming or not. So when he sees them, the first person here is to command them to walk faster. The other person there is to count them. So this place is a bit deeper than the other end. So here they can get to see them well, get to command, get to count them, and this place also to, to command them. So move, 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 move. They go to it, and here they count them, making sure the same number from that place. If you want to resist rape, you will be allowed to you will be punished in the castle. So your punishment is to stay in here for seven to ten days. But while being punished as a female, you have to be fed once a day. They give you food, but then they start being fed once a day. You give you food. This place will be covered with a metal gate. In here, you get your air, you get your food, you get your water. But not all of them will contain the condition here. Some of them have to unveil themselves. Right, one in here, the other also the really 
and about 150 or less of the females will be here, the same numbers in them. The main reason why females were added to the trade was they knew the females that were going to give birth, and once they give birth, they also got to multiply the numbers of the enslaved Africans, and for that, they had to add the females to the trade. So aside supporting the males of everything they were doing out there, they were meant to give birth and add that to the numbers. The same condition in the male guys happening here, just that the worst condition in that we all know it is only ladies that do menstruate. And just imagine yourself as a lady who's sitting there for one or two or three. If nobody comes in to make it to baby, you ladies are going to spend your days in here within your verses. So you can imagine the infections, the pain, the stench, the trauma, and other stuff you have to go through until you are set to rip, like I said, there will not be any bad for you in here. They have these as their source of ventilation. As you can all see, just that the females know their space was there. The space is actually a bit bigger than that of the males, and aside that, they had extra ventilation. Just that it was blocked with bars, so you wouldn't get a chance to escape or run off from this end. Was this also dark? Yes, it was also dark in the You know, you had electricity during the commerce time, so before then, you had electricity. So, please, if there's no person, we get to see your debate of no return. If you've already visited the Omina class, you get to see how short the door of the gate of Florida is. The original door happens to be a bent to fix door. If you don't go down, squeeze yourself, you can't go through it. Today we are having a bigger door here because after the English, they introduced the door here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.